You've probably heard about Yorgos Lanthimos's The Favourite, Céline Sciamma's Portrait of a Lady on Fire, as well as the TV series Babylon Berlin or the streaming platform Mubi. But do you know what they all have in common? The answer is that each of these audiovisual projects were supported by Creative Europe, a program which has been crucial for promoting Europe's cultural diversity and its creative sectors. With a budget of 2.4 billion euros, the brand new Creative Europe 2021 to 27 program provides more support and funding than ever while maintaining its original three strand structure media, culture, and cross sectoral. The media strand, which supports the European audiovisual sector, had an increase of more than 1 billion euros to its budget. The goal is to better prepare the sector for fundamental societal challenges, ensuring diversity and inclusion in a world getting ready for the green transition. The Media Strand supports projects with a European and international dimension, while fostering talents and reinforcing the use of new technologies. This new programme will enhance cooperation and flexibility throughout the audiovisual sector over four main clusters. Content reflects values and diversity. It encourages collaboration and innovation to produce high-quality European projects, reinforcing the capability of independent producers to retain their rights and to exploit them globally. Another goal of the programme is to promote business and the competitiveness of the European audiovisual, strengthening its position among global competitors, developing talents and skills, as well as facilitating access to markets and networks for both newcomers and established companies. To increase audiences throughout all distribution channels and platforms is also an objective, broadening the accessibility and visibility of European projects with special attention given toward reaching a younger public. Lastly, the programme ensures a common European approach to audiovisual policy issues, supporting innovative actions, exchanging best practices through data gathering, constant communication, advocacy and engagement with both the industry and the common citizen. As such, Creative Europe's 2021-27 programme strives to reach new markets and audiences to enrich its cultural diversity and to address societal issues like the green and digital transitions. All of this means hard work, but opportunities are flowering. How can agents, producers and industry members take advantage of Creative Europe? What are its main guidelines of action? And how can you use this massive tool to help you create the next great film, TV series or video game?